Hi and welcome to what's only the second one click in video. My name's Greg and today we're riding the 2013 MV Augusta Brutale 800. Oh yeah. This particular Brutale has the EAS system, which is Electronic Assisted Shift, another name for a quick shifter. Um, it's very handy, all the controls are on the bars, so you can turn it off and on, so when you go in town, turn it off, they're not really good in town, they're a little bit jumpy. And yeah, out in the hills and out on the highway, they are so smooth, they're brilliant. So very pleased with the quick shifter. Unfortunately, this model is a little bit early to have the blipper for downshifts, but hey, you know, you've still got a hand and a clutch, so all works well. This MV Augusta has the MV ICS system, which is another way of saying everything speaks to everything else. So ECU, the mapping, the throttle, the ride-by-wire throttle, and traction control has eight levels of traction control, this particular bike. And all works very well. It's still a little bit snappy though, and the throttle when you get them standard, it doesn't feel like there's anything there. There's no resistance. It makes it very hard, especially when you're going along stuttery roads or anything like that. It's very jumpy. So um, quick tip is to jump on eBay or, or something similar. Grab yourself a later model throttle assembly. This particular one has a 2015 throttle assembly, which has a stiffer spring in it, and it just evens things out, makes it a much nicer bike to ride. So there's my number one tip for this bike. The engine on the MV is a beautiful thing. It's a counter-rotating 800cc engine, 125 horsepower, 81 newton meters of torque. Um, so you sort of hear those figures and think, yeah, that's okay. But when you ride it, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Um, if you compare it to a leader bike, you know, most leader bikes, sports bikes these days have upward of 170, you know, to 200 and whatever horsepower and so you're expecting a good kick in the pants whereas when you see the figures for one of these you think yeah yeah but when you ride it absolutely fantastic so um, keeping the front wheel down can be a bit of a trick but uh, that's all fun isn't it as far as uh, riding around town uh, I wouldn't say they're a town bike so yeah nah um, they're a little bit jumpy but uh, once you get out of town and you can start opening the throttle a bit more. Um, absolutely brilliant. It takes a bit of getting used to. They're a completely different beast to you know, a jet bike or even a Triumph or anything like that. Um, bit temperamental, you might say. Um, they do have their issues. A lot of them have sprag clutch issues. Um, I don't think this one has had, and it's got oh, about 30,000 Ks on it now. So uh, fingers crossed there's no sprag clutch issues. The one problem this one does have is an electronic problem where I'm in first gear and it's still reading I'm in neutral. This only happens when the bike's running, when it's just sitting there with the ignition on, it's fine and indicates properly. So I bought a new gear indicator switch with all the wiring loom and everything and it's still exactly the same. So unfortunately you put it in first and still reading neutral. So. Uh, I think that also affects the traction control. So when I have any traction control in first gear, um, it's it's pretty much dead. Hit second and boof, off you go. Um, so I'm still going to be looking at that and any advice is, is definitely welcome on that because that's really the only thing that's wrong with this bike after 30,000 Ks. Um, other than that, it's absolutely brilliant.
riding position, of course, being a naked bike, is fairly upright, uh, fairly comfortable. Uh, this one does have a gel seat. The other seat's sort of a bit like a hard piece of plastic. I haven't actually used it, but um, I think I'll just stick to this seat. Um, does have pillion pegs, but they come on this big ugly bracket, and I don't intend sitting anyone up here anyway, so I've taken that off. Um, the rider pegs, they are a little bit of a letdown. That's probably one of the downfalls of it. They're a bit slippery. Um, sometimes when you're, when you're getting into a corner, sometimes your foot can just come off, slide off. Um, so an upgrade of pegs would definitely be a good thing to do. Um, the dash, well, it's not really easy to read, uh, being LCD and not colored at all. Um, it is quite difficult to read sometimes. So um, I think the later models would have an upgrade from this, but that's just progression, I guess. Brutale has 43 millimeter Marzocchi forks. They've got separate compression and rebound settings, one for each fork instead of one at the top, one at the bottom. Has Saks rear shock as well. These are pretty good, but when you start pushing it, you do find their limitations and could do with at least a good setup or maybe even a rear shock change out. Depends on your riding style. Around town, you'll probably find it's a little bit stiff, but bearable. Front discs are 320 millimeter with Brembo calipers and a Nissan master cylinder, which seems to work really, really well. You can have it standing up on the front wheel, no problems at all. The rear brake, uh, the caliper is also a Brembo, but uh, it's, it's not great. Um, so just be aware that you're not going to have a lot of rear brake on one of these. But hey, mostly you use the front brake, so I deal with it. Unfortunately, the Brutale doesn't come standard with a steering damper, whereas the Double R model does. Um, they could really do with one. You can get quite a, a slap happening uh, when the front's getting light, which it does regularly. Um, so I would be putting one on or upgrading to a double R. So um, I feel that I don't want a double R. I, I need a double R. Brutale only holds 16.6 .6 litres. In fact, they found it hard to fit that in. So some of it comes under the seat here. So it hasn't got a huge range, um, but they're not, they're not exactly a touring bike. Can you hear my magpies over there? Welcome to Australia. Um, also, they're only 167 kilos dry, so quite a light bike, and that's why when you ride it, and it's you know, 125 horsepower, 167 kilos dry. Um, come on, magpies, give me a break. Come on. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go for a ride with your sister I'm a freshly waxed MV Augusta Yeah, I'm down with my ninjas mm, I'm down with my ninjas I'm down with my ninjas Yeah, ninjas getting all up in my grill and that Telling me that I'm missing a cylinder Gotta watch all those ninjas all calling me a phony Hey, they're just jealous of my Trapestoni